Welcome back to my channel, Taurus. This is your love reading for the week. If you were here last week, you know how this goes, even though the layout, the spread is a little bit different. We're gonna use the Golden Girls Tarot deck as an Oracle deck just for this, so we can have something, one thing wholesome and not naked to look at for the next 20 minutes. Um, but the overall theme for you, Taurus people, is the King of Cups. This is some type of major love offer on the table. Somebody wants to come into you. So whether you are single and or coupled or a unicorn Taurus involved with some couples, <laughs> love is coming into you. People are seeing you as somebody they want to offer something with. Again, Taurus, you are very solid and stable. So people want to commit to you, lock you down with this King of Cups energy here. We are going to roll right into the singles read. And Taurus, you have the Ace of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here, straight out of the gate, love overflowing. You have many offers of love coming in is what I'm getting from this. I would be shocked to see that as we move further in the read. But love, water, emotions is on the forefront. Maybe emotions are high right now during the season. Maybe you're feeling very abundant, but this is love coming into you. And I feel like people are seeing you as very attractive right now, Taurus. At the bottom of the deck for singles, we have... The death card. So this, you're going through a period of major transition, whether that be in relationship or love. Maybe you just ended a relationship. Maybe you're changing the terms of a relationship. Or maybe this is you just changing who you are. Or the glow up is real here with this, death, with this death card energy, Scorpio energy here. Maybe you were dealing with a Scorpio in the past. Or this is you just, just you evolving, leaving the old you behind. With that Ace of Cups energy, we have the Five of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. We are in Aries season. This is a major time of action. This could be that. This could be a little bit of conflict. Maybe you have a lot of opportunities in love, or maybe you're dealing with a fire sign person, or maybe a few fire signs. Okay, Taurus, because you have many offers coming in. Are you in a love triangle with some fire sign people or a fire sign? Is that the case? Or maybe this is you just having so many love offers, you have to beat them off with a stick with this Five of Wands energy. Ooh, Taurus. Oh, yes, yeah, somebody sees you as very sexy here with this judgment card. This is all about things being revealed. Maybe even people are coming out of the woodworks to get at you, Taurus. This could be you revealing that you had feelings for somebody, you taking you taking a leap of faith and revealing that you have feelings for someone, or maybe somebody you didn't realize had feelings for you and they're letting you know with this revelation. With this being in reverse, this to me is some type of revelation that doesn't shake things up in a bad way this may even be a an exciting revelation like oh okay is that they will they really want to see you maybe they think you have a cute butt here taurus but with this and maybe you do okay taurus people nice legs nice butt. usually in very good i've always felt like taurus people usually have nice bodies um but this maybe they admire your body but this is somebody or maybe even you coming out of the woodwork to let it be known that they are looking at you they cannot stop staring at you taurus Okay, this is the Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This is the card of brand new opportunities in love. This is also the card of being passionate, being intimate, having sex. You have many opportunities in love and passion here, Taurus. Again, people see you as very attractive. Love is on the forefront. Love is overflowing. You People want to lock you down, Taurus. Are you feeling that way that people are coming out of the woodworks, maybe even access saying, hey, how are you doing? It's texting you out of the blue. People want to lock you down, make you new offers. They want to lock you you down Taurus Queen of Swords in reverse Gemini Libra Aquarius energy this is you setting high boundaries okay Taurus this is you letting it be known that you're single right now and you're not accepting any offers of love yes I'll entertain you yes you can take me out yes you can buy me nice gifts okay Taurus but you're not locking me down right now this is you setting boundaries Oh, yes, Cancer energy here with the Chariot card, Major Arcana in reverse. This could be you at a standstill about moving forward with people. Again, because I feel like you're taking time out, Taurus, to just focus on yourself here. You're staying single. Again, you're in that entertaining people mode. Like, I'll go out to dinner with you. I'll have drinks with you. We can Netflix and chill maybe. But you're not any serious commitment. You're not doing that because you're focused on yourself. This movement is toward personal growth here with this Chariot card, Cancer energy here. And then... Oh, yes, you are taking your sweet time to make any decisions in love because you are having a Four of Swords moment. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy heavy on the air sign. Are, were you dealing with an air sign person in the past? Does an air sign have your attention? But with this, know that you are sitting on some information and just taking your time, taking a rest. Again, maybe taking a rest from being in a relationship or just being involved with people in general here with this Four of Swords. This is you cutting communication, taking a breather for yourself, a mental break. 
Queen of Pentacles here, Taurus. This is our earth sign energy here. This is you focusing on yourself here. This is all about self here. This is you focusing on yourself, only taking offers that are going to give you the highest payout, only accepting things that are worth your time, that people that are worthy of you with you, because the focus is on you, and you're going to make sure that is the case in and out of the bedroom here, Taurus, with this card. Okay, Queen of Pentacles energy. This is you standing in your total confidence here, feeling confident. And then the 12 of wands, or excuse me, or the knight of wands. This is somebody, this is player energy. This could be you, Taurus. This could be you, again, playing the field. You're Netflix and chilling. You'll entertain somebody, but you are not making any commitments. This is you in and out like a thief, like in, in and out like a thief in the night, Taurus. This is your energy. You are being smooth with it, very suave, whether you are a man or a woman. This is your energy. You're playing it cool. And we're going to wrap it up here with the Empress card. This is Taurus and Libra energy. We are ending it with here with your energy. This is you. You are just coming into your power. And maybe this is in reverse because you're not feeling this way right now. Maybe you're still in the process of this glow up and feeling all this love coming into you with this King of Cups energy. That's the overall for this. But this is you standing in your power or becoming into this or coming into this power of you being totally abundant, beautiful, the divine feminine, a mother, a wife. You're leveling up so you can take your relationship when you're ready to the next level. Okay, Taurus, this is super exciting because, again, with this death card energy at the bottom of the deck, you're transforming. You're shedding the old you and moving into the new you. The glow up is real, Taurus. I'm super excited. Stay tuned for the couples reading next. Um, find me on my social media because this may be connected. Okay, more water sign energy. Let me hold on. Let me take a break. Ooh. Couples. Let me walk back to this. King of Cups energy for couples. This is people wanting to lock you down, couples. So if this is you in a relationship, and I feel like it is, because somebody here is feeling like the Nine of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here for the Taurus. This is you being the total package and offering yourself up, okay? Taurus, very seductive, okay? Some of the best lovers of the Zodiac. This is you offering yourself up, wanting to have that Ten of Cups moment, that happy, that fairy tale ending, close on, closing out the cycle with this person. You want to lock somebody down and somebody wants to lock you down, Taurus. First card is, oh yeah, coming to the end of a cycle here. The Nine of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This is you getting towards the end of a cycle, and somebody's defensive here. This is somebody protecting themselves. Maybe with somebody vulnerable here and waiting for a happy ending, and they're not getting it. But this is someone getting to an end, end of a cycle and being protective. Maybe there was something hidden going on in the background, somebody keeping um, some hidden activity going on. Enter, ooh, Taurus, what is going on here? And then nine and then the eight the eight of pentacles Vir taurus this is your energy taurus virgo capricorn energy eight of pentacles this is building something so maybe there was a little bit of infidelity in the past and now you're waiting for this ten of cups moment because you put in all this work this effort maybe you were putting all in all of the work with this being an um earth earth energy here but this is you trying to work and build on something and we have the eight and the nine right next to each other and the nine is at the bottom of the deck you're trying to end something with somebody closing out a cycle is it with the King of Cups, somebody who's a little bit all over the place? There's secrets. Secrets are an issue here. We could see that. Secrets. Something hidden going on. It's people hoping people don't see what's going on, what's happening right in front of people's eyes. With somebody trying to play you with somebody in plain sight, even somebody that you knew, this is you having to look into some things, worried about secrets, what's going on um, in the background with this high priestess energy. This is you having to use your intuition, maybe to grow with this person, or maybe you feel like you have to use your intuition to trust this person. Six of Wands in reverse, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you could have been dealing with a fire sign. This is you not getting the victory, or this is somebody being very bold and, and betraying you behind your back in their actions. We're in Aries season, maybe you're dealing with fire sign, but with this and this, was somebody do, doing a little too much behind your back? Maybe they weren't necessarily in a relationship, but you found out that they were being a little too flirty, a little too touchy-feely with people in the background, Taurus. Is that the deal? Or maybe, Taurus, because this energy is vice versa, it could be you. Maybe you were a little too touchy-feely in this relationship, and now you have to put a little bit more effort in, and that's the secret that are being found out. But somebody was being a little too touchy-feely, a little too handsy, and that's causing a rift, and you guys had to build on something, put some work, some effort into this, because that was a, some, ooh, that's a secret, baby. King of Earth, King of Coins, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This is Taurus energy. This is you. This is somebody who is very traditional, stable, has their coins together, has their is very 
believes in family, believes in the institution of marriage, believes in monogamy. This is somebody solid and stable here. Is this you, Taurus? Were you some? Were you the solid and stable person in this relationship? And it was the other person that was playing these games, doing these things behind your back. And now you have to worry about what's going on in the background with this high priestess energy. Look at that image. Somebody doing something behind. Touchy feely with somebody. Taurus, you have to let me know if somebody was being inappropriate with their hands or just doing a little bit too damn much when you weren't around. Let me know down in the comments. This is correct. This is wild. With somebody hanging out at the strip club, three of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is somebody being completely vulnerable in a situation, giving their all to somebody, and somebody still looking over their shoulder to see what else is out there. Somebody was a cheater, Taurus. Taurus, somebody was being a cheater and you are still worried about them cheating here. Even though you want to invest in this person, maybe you feel like you've, you're the total package. This is you, Taurus. You're this total package. You've given your all. You've put your all into this. And this person is still playing games. This person played games with you. You were trying to hold on, put your all into this. And they still were not letting you in. This person is fully closed while you were too, fully exposing yourself to them. This person was just had a lot of secrets, hidden things going on in the background. And they were doing things behind your back. Four of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. You are looking for stability here. This is the card of stability, a solid and stable foundation. This is also a card of somebody keeping something close to their chest. So this is some, so again, I feel like this is somebody still keeping secrets while you're trying to build with this person. Okay, you're putting in the effort and maybe you feel like you are crawling, reaching out for this person to give you some type of answers for them to change their behavior to show you something, but they're not giving you that. Taurus, baby. And you're ready to let them go and start over because you're tired of being a fool in this situation. Or you're ready to let this fool go. This is Major Arcana. This is you starting a brand new journey. You're leaving this person behind because of these secrets. You are leaving this person behind. You're tired of them playing you like a puppet here with this fool card. You're done with them. Taurus, you were up, you were up and out of there. Out of there. Night of Earth. This is you. This somebody was breadcrumbing you here. Was this person playing games about a commitment and then they were doing all this shady shit? being gra playing grab ass with people behind your back this is somebody breadcrumbing this is somebody playing games about a commitment but not making any forward movements toward that and again you're done being this person's fool because their words weren't matching their actions here with this knight of um pentacles in reverse Ooh, taurus this is somebody having a little bit too much fun here more fire sign energy here Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is everything feels good in the hood. This is everything is great. This is the sex is amazing, but this person is toxic. There's too much going on in the background. While it's when it's good, it's good, but when it's bad, it's super bad. We have the eight and the nine of wands here. So we have this when it's good, it's good. And like I said, but somebody is scandalous with this nine of wands. So while they're in their face and you're they're giving having you have the best time of your life, they're doing this in the background. They got all this going on. Yeah. Taurus, it's time. While it feels good when it's good, you know it's time to get out. You're ready to restore this balance with this eight. It's time for you to go. They were not valuing you as this nine of cups moment, this total package. You had poured all into this person. You were hoping for a happy ending, but they just let you down. Oh, oh hell no. In the card of ghosting, walking away from a situation with or without closure, they left you without any closure, or you're going to leave with whether you get closure or not. You are done with this situation, Taurus. This Virgo was really heavy too with their um, relationship, but this King of Cups may just be a little bit of a messy motherfucker for you, Taurus. I uh, let me know if that resonated for you at all. Maybe you're just moving on and check out that singles read because maybe that's you shedding this new skin in that in that singles read. Find me on my social media for your private readings. Please like, comment, subscribe for daily tarot answers on my channel, and I'll be checking in with you soon, Earth Sign Sisters. Who Taurus?